First up, some major oil marketing companies have started increasing prices of fuel at the various service stations. Now, beginning this week, which is the first pricing window for the month of January, Total and Star Oil are the first two market players to effect the increment. Here's more. This price adjustment has been influenced by the rising price of crude oil on the world market and the depreciation of the local currency within the period. On the average, the oil marketing firms are expected to increase the petroleum products by about 20 pesos from the last pricing window, which ended December 31. Total Petroleum is currently selling a litre of petrol and diesel at 6 cities 80 pesos and 6 cities 85 pesos respectively. Star Oil is however selling both petrol and diesel at 6 cities 45 pesos a litre due to the price war amongst competitors. Other players are expected to adjust their prices upwards in the course of the week but in a way that will attract consumers. Indigenous market leader Guel is however expected to increase its fuel prices by the end of the week. Meanwhile, Joy Business is learning that some OMCs are likely to maintain their old prices till the end of this pricing window. Well, joining us with some uh, perspective, researcher with the Institute of Energy Security, uh, Fritz Moses, great to be with you uh, this afternoon. Happy New Year to you. As we expect, fuel prices are going up. What are the factors we are dealing with currently, Fritz? All right. Many happy returns to you, um, Daryl, you and the team. Um, thanks once again. Um, yes, uh, we are expecting fuel prices to increase for this window beginning um, this year, uh, somewhere first January. Now, the increment has been necessitated by the fact that um, on the international market, we've seen um, uh, prices for the, the international benchmark Brent crude rise by some 8.8% on average terms. We've also seen that for the finished product that both petrol and diesel, the prices have also increased by some uh, 3% for diesel and some 2.09% for, uh, for petrol. These prices, uh, these increments, although are marginal, as you see them, uh, the addition or the reintroduction again also of the price stabilization and recovery levy in the price would have was also um, expected to cause prices to rise further. Remember, um, somewhere in November, uh, beginning November, uh, government suspended the price stabilization and recovery levy on the price would have, causing prices to fall um, um, uh, within that period till the end of the year. But um, uh, since prices, uh, since that was reintroduced um, this year, beginning January or beginning the first pricing window in, in the year, you would expect or we we are expecting that this will cause the OMCs to increase their price at the pumps. And, and like we've been reporting, some OMCs have already gone ahead to increase prices, and we're seeing a price war amongst the OMCs. Are we going to see the consumer cushion somewhat as the OMCs aim to increase their market share? Uh, we, we, we do not think so for this window. We think that the, the major thing pushing up prices, um, particularly for this window, is the reintroduction of the price relation recovery that was um, suspended um, in, in November and December last year. And that's our 16 pesos for uh, petrol and 14 pesos for diesel. The OMCs would not want to absorb, um, I mean, they cannot absorb this cost because it's not um, their margin, so it's not a, a, a cost of their margin, but rather leave it on the price where that for which they have no influence or they have no control over. And so it will definitely be rolled onto the consumer for us to pay. Well, well speak of cushioning uh, consumers, President Kufado uh, has approved an extension of the suspension of the stabilization levy on petroleum products for another month we're hearing ending January this year. And so the question is, uh, why not totally scrap it then? Yeah, well, um, that, that's some of the arguments that we, we preferred in the initial um, stage when it was um, suspended. We are, we are of the view that the suspension in itself is not enough mm. because we look at the factors causing or pushing prices upwards and they are not things that um, suspending the 16 pesos or 14 pesos levy would would, would um, 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 cause a reduction in it. Remember when even the first November when prices were expected to fall because the levy was going to be uh, suspended, mm. prices rather increased by some 10 pesos because the things that were causing prices to rise up but not since the government was adequately handling or was even able to handle properly. Looking at so the city stabilization consistently from somewhere July this last year, we've seen city continue to depreciate um, on marginal terms. In the last window, it depreciated again by 0 0.5 from 6.18 CD to the US dollar. It's currently around 6.21 CD to the US dollar. And so these are things that are fundamental that, um, uh, I mean, do away with all, uh, without 
with or without any government intervention, suspension or removal of taxes or levies on the price would have, may still force prices to go up further because the OMCs and VDCs are in the market to trade and make profits. And anything that would force their cost to increase would be would push on to the consumer. And what is the outlook for the coming months beyond the first pricing window and as we deal with the pandemic? Well, what, what we believe is that um, with the current prices that we've been seeing on the international market, where prices are seem, seemingly stable, we, we expect that uh, for the second half of January, I mean, already in the first half of January, you see prices rising up um, um, for at the various uh, pumps. However, in the, second, in the second half of January, we expect that the prices that we will see now would remain stable for, for some time. Unless, again, we, like the OMCs have been doing in the past few months, the past three, four months, there will be um, a, a reduction in the margins to, call, to cushion consumers a bit, but we, we expect prices to remain stable. All right, Fritz Moses there. Thanks so much uh, for sharing some insights on what's happening uh, with fuel prices. We really appreciate it.